Okay, yeah, so I'll tell you about the story of the jelly roll. The jelly roll, when I was a kid, I must have been about three or four years old, and um, they had these little Debbie jelly rolls, and they were about this big, big as, about as big as the Bible almost, not quite that big, but close to this size, or at least they seemed that big at the time. I believe it was about that big as uh, three quarters of this Bible, and there were two of them in the pack like that, mm -hmm. and they were red, and they had the cream, and then they had a yellow cake um, I'm in them, and they just look so delicious. And I said, Mom, can you get me a jelly roll? I ain't got no money for all that. You need to know we're not getting the jelly roll. And um, so I'd go home, and I would just fixate on these jelly rolls, and I wanted them, and I would, and I would see, I would get change uh, from various places that would be around the house, and I would gather up change, and I would walk out of the house and go up to the store, and I could, I could really sneak around really good. I could get out of any door at a real young age. That's a whole nother story. And I would sneak out of the house, run up to the store, um, put my money on the counter, get the jelly roll, put up the counter, got push back my money, say that's not enough money, son. Mm -hmm. You have to have so now uh, subsequently I learned how to count change through this process. <laughs> and um and over time, uh um uh I would I would accumulate more and more money and take it up there and and one day uh, uh, and, I, and I did this, or I must have did this a dozen times mm -hmm. without enough money. <laughs> and it, it was 79 cents. It was, it was, it was, it was, yeah, it was 69 or 79 cents. It was a lot of money for a little kid back in the 60s, okay? okay? That, was, that was good money, okay? Mm -hmm. And so one day, I think my grandfather gave me a dollar. Wow. Okay, so I hit the jackpot. I make my way up to the um up to the store i proudly put them up there slapped my dollar counted my change and got my donut ran home with my bag of donut uh, not donuts my, my jelly roll uh -huh. opened up those jelly i could smell them today and and i <laughs> bit into the jelly roll oh and it was terrible uh. it was too sweet oh. it was way too sweet <laughs> i did not like it at all and i spent all that time fixating on something mm. that once i finally ate it it was not as good, not good. as i thought it wow. would be and that's what happened here mm. is they, they, she ate and, and he ate mm -hmm. and verse 7 it says what? Then the eyes of both of them were opened and they realized that they were naked. Okay. So this is very revealing. Wow. Okay. Their eyes were open. Now the question is what was wrong with their eyes in the first place? Mm. Were they blind? Mm -mm. No. Okay. Their eyes were open to a new reality. Mm. Okay, the first, the, the, their first original eyes were open to God said it, mm -hmm. it was so, mm -hmm. and it was good. Okay, now their reality has changed. Mm. Okay, now their reality is based on what they can see what they can hear, mm -hmm. what they can taste, mm -hmm. what they can feel, mm -hmm. and what they can touch and, and taste, okay. okay, based on their senses now, we make determinations for ourselves mm -hmm. what is good and evil, and this thing is so insidious, it's to the point that we have to take a leap of faith now, even to acknowledge the existence of our Creator. Wow. Because we can't see Him, mm -hmm. or feel Him, or touch Him, or taste Him, or, 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 or mm -hmm. smell Him, mm -hmm. okay? So it takes a leap of faith just to believe in the God that created us. Wow. Okay? Mm -hmm. so, so their eyes is a, different, is a different thing. They had entered into the matrix, mm -hmm. okay? Into this world of virtual reality. Okay. based on their senses instead of on true reality based on the word of God. Hmm. Okay? What Where's God says. Huh? Where's your microphone? Oh, I don't know. Well, I hope y'all can, can hear all that. Yeah, I'm sure they got uh, it. Uh, okay. Well, well, we'll see it in a minute. But I'm going to put my microphone on. Thank you, man. Mm -hmm. uh, see, I can't do nothing without her, y'all. <laughs> okay. Okay. Here, here. Put some on it, too. Okay. 
All right, yeah, okay. So yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's based on this new reality. And the first thing they saw when they opened up their eyes, they were, were naked. Yeah, they, it was themselves. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, themselves. Hmm. They knew that they were naked. Now I'm going. I'm going to go out on a limb here. Okay. Okay. I promise you, Adam knew Eve was naked. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. And Eve knew Adam was naked. Okay. But they did not know that they were naked wow. because they were not concerned with themselves wow. in their innocent state. They were in a state of innocence. And the, the essence of innocence is that you don't see yourself. Hmm. Okay? And the essence of sinfulness is that's all you see wow. is yourself. You see yourself first mm -hmm. in all that you do. Everything now that you experience in life is sifted through the grid of selfishness, mm -hmm. okay? Of your gain, mm -hmm. of, of, of what, what's in it for you, mm -hmm. okay? Everything, even the most, our, our most uh, uh, notable and laudable accomplishments. Are, are done with what's in it for me in mind, hmm. okay? So if we do a great altruistic thing, we still want credit for it, mm -hmm. okay? That, that's what we, we'll, we'll give to somebody, mm -hmm. okay? Because it makes us feel good, mm -hmm. okay? And so that is the original sin. Mm -hmm. it, it is selfishness. All other sin is birthed from the seed of selfishness, of, of self-awareness, of, 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 um, of, of self-indulgence mm -hmm. and self-satisfaction. Mm -hmm. If you want to sell somebody, something to somebody, you have to sell it to them on the basis of what's in it for them, mm -hmm. okay? Because the only truly consistent thing about humans is that they are living life doing what's in their best interest, mm -hmm. okay? And the profit now that they make is for them as opposed to being profitable for God. Mm -hmm. And that's how we come short of his glory. Hmm. See his glory, you see the reason why we were why why we were created was to be in his image, to look like him. And that's what glory is. He wanted to manifest himself through the man. So you could look at the man and the woman and you could see God and his glory would be manifested in, um, through the man and the woman, mm -hmm. through and their offspring, okay? Mm -hmm. But now we have sinned and we come short of that image, mm -hmm. of that glory, because now the things that we do, we do them for ourselves instead of doing it to reflect his image, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. And they knew that they were naked, mm -hmm. and it says what? And they... Verse 7. Okay. <clears throat> then the eyes of both of them were opened, and they realized they were naked. So they sold fig leaves together and made coverings okay. for themselves. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And that's very interesting. Look at what it says. It said they sold fig leaves together and made themselves coverings. So in other words, Adam made himself mm -hmm an apron, mm -hmm. and she made for herself a covering. Okay. Okay? And um, uh, uh, just before that, I believe Adam was willing to give his life for Eve. Mm -hmm. That's why he took his fruit, because the Bible says that, that Adam was not deceived. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay? That, that he sinned willfully mm -hmm. against God knowing the consequences mm -hmm. in advance, mm -hmm. okay? Because he didn't know what death was, but he knew whatever it was, mm -hmm. 
-hmm. Okay, he wasn't gonna let her go there alone. Mm -hmm. Okay, but now he's making for himself. And it's every man for himself, and he makes for and he is, he is God, and he's jumping behind his own tree, mm -hmm. and she's out there on her own to make her own clothes and find her own tree to hide behind. Wow. Okay. Uh, verse eight. Genesis 3, 8. Then the man and his wife heard the sound of the Lord God as he was walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And they hid from the Lord God among the trees of the garden. Okay. So, so they heard the sound of the Lord walking in the cool of the garden, which was probably his habit. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they hid themselves for the first time. Hmm. from the presence of the Lord amongst the trees of the garden. Verse 9. But the Lord God called to the man, where are you? Oh, by the way, before I get any further, about, about the covering and the nakedness, hmm. that is, it was, is that we're still making clothes to hide our nakedness. Mm -hmm. Okay? We see inadequacy in ourselves mm -hmm. in so many different ways. And, and we are constantly trying to cover up our inadequacies so that other people can't see the real us. Wow. We make, uh, we put on masks mm -hmm. and clothing and we put on images mm -hmm. uh, so that people can't see the real us. We, we invent identities for ourselves uh, uh, so, so that we can't, um, so that people I uh, can't see our vulnerability mm -hmm. and um, we have defense mechanisms and, and other things that we use to hide our inadequacies from others wow. uh, and and we even hide from God mm -hmm. okay as weird as that is mm -hmm. although we know he knows where we are mm -hmm. we still attempt to hide from him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you you brought out um, the last thing in verse um, in chapter two, verse twenty five. They were both naked and not ashamed, mm -hmm. and now it looks like they're ashamed. Now they are naked and ashamed. That's mm -hmm. right. That's mm -hmm. right. Because they can see themselves, and mm -hmm. and they know that they've done wrong, mm -hmm. and so um, even if they would have saw themselves um, beforehand. Okay, there would have been any, any, any big deal because they were pure, they were innocent, mm -hmm. okay? But now uh, uh, they see their transgression and they, they know that they have done wrong and they need to hide. Um, they're hiding from punishment, from judgment, from, from all, all types of stuff. They're in, they're in terror mm -hmm. and, and sin always brings fear. Mm -hmm. Okay, it, it brings fear, it makes you, the, the most sinful people are of, oftentimes the most paranoid people mm -hmm. and the most fearful people, um, um, often even the most vicious people mm -hmm. um, can, can oftentimes also at the same time be the most fearful people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, um, and they're hiding, sometimes the violence is just a form of hiding. You know, you see people with attitudes and meanness, and you say, oh, boy, that's just a terrible disposition they have. Th th those are just fig leaves. Mm -hmm. they're, they're fig leaves. They're mm -hmm. trying to hide mm -hmm. and protect themselves against something. They've been hurt mm -hmm. in various ways because they've been made vulnerable mm -hmm. uh, to, to people before, and um, they found that by putting on the fig leaves of, of nastiness or mm -hmm. ugliness or, 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 you know, I don't know what you call it. Um, um, Stand uh, your standoffish. Yeah, standoffish. That's exactly the word I was going to use, that that becomes a defense mechanism mm -hmm. that covers their nakedness. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you're also bringing out, um, I guess Adam and Eve recognized that there was a problem and that they tried to solve their problem their way. And um, there's a scripture that says, our ways are not his ways, mm -hmm. you know. They, that's right. I guess that's all they knew to do was to try to grab a fig leaf. Right. And we do that a lot, trying mm -hmm. to solve our problems the wrong way. That's right. That's right. That's good. So Genesis. Verse 9. 
3, 9. Mm-hmm. But the Lord God called to the man, where are you? Verse 10, he answered, I heard you in the garden and I was afraid because I was naked. So I hid. Oh, okay. So God called him out, Adam, where are you? Now, that, that's, that's kind of a, a real, that's a question that theologians um, wrestle with. Why did God ask Adam where he was when God knows everything? Hmm. He knew where Adam was, mm-hmm. but he wanted Adam to reveal himself to him of his own volition, mm-hmm. of his own will. Mm-hmm. And um, and he was asking a penetrating question, not just where are you in location, mm-hmm. okay, mm-hmm. where are your coordinates, mm-hmm. okay, but he said, where is your head at? Mm-hmm. Okay, where are you in me? Mm-hmm. Okay, where are you in purpose? Mm-hmm. Okay, where are you in as opposed to the way that I have created you. Mm-hmm. Where are you now? Wow. And, and the answer was, hey, I heard your voice in the garden and I was afraid, okay? And that's the first key. He never, he, you know, can you imagine being afraid for the first time? We're born in fear. Wow. A baby is born in fear, mm-hmm. okay? He's born, he goes from a quiet, dark, warm, 98 degree uh, <laughs> womb that's, that's all wet and perfect and quiet because the water we lived in, it blocked out the sound so all you would hear is muffled sounds and you go from that to a cold, bright, noisy um, world, mm. okay? And with somebody hitting you Touching all on you, and, and and they used to smack their behinds and to make them cry. So you were born in fear, mm. okay. And we learn how to handle our fear over years. But now, but now Adam, he's feeling, and Eve, they're feeling fear for the first time, mm. okay. They they never they they not only was feeling fear for the first time, they were not even created to ever be fearful. Hmm. Okay, there, there's, it, it was in them to possibly be afraid, but for them to use, ever use their fear, that was unlikely because they had dominion. Hmm. They yeah. had dominion. If, if they were in a, if, if a you know, uh, 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 if, 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 if they were in a rock slide, you know, they could, they could hawk them rocks hmm. in midair hmm. and move out of the way. Hmm. You know, they had power like that, okay? okay? If they was in a, st- if, just, if a storm came mm-hmm. and it looked dangerous, okay, they could guide the tornado around them. Mm-hmm. They had dominion over the weather. Wow. Okay? Nothing to, Nothing to be afraid of. They had dominion. See, a baby human, could, it could be a hurricane like Katrina coming in. Okay, and, and, and a little baby three-year-old could go and they say, the, the baby could go out to that shore and say, and say stop, hmm. okay? And that, that hurricane would just go around. Hmm. That's what dominion means. That's what dominion means, over the earth itself. Wow. Right, and, and that was, uh, and they could cause an earthquake hmm. if they wanted. Mm-hmm. You see, it, it, was, it was like that, they had mm-hmm that much power Mm -hmm. and that much authority. Mm -hmm. They never would have to be afraid of anything. Wow. Okay, but now they were afraid. He says, I heard your voice in the garden and I was afraid because I was naked. And by the I knew I was naked because I had sinned. That's the real reason. Mm -hmm. I was afraid of you because I sinned against you. Mm -hmm. And you know I knew uh, you knew. I knew you knew that I had sinned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I hid myself. Wow. Okay, and look at God's response to all of that. The question he honed in on. He didn't say, he didn't say, why are you afraid? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. He, he said, he said, it's strange enough. He said, go ahead, verse 11. And he said, who told you that you were naked? Uh-huh. Who, told uh-huh. you? who told you that you were naked? Wow. That was wow. Yeah, yeah. Who told you you were naked? Hmm. You know, see, it was like it, he, 
he would have he would have he would not have come to that conclusion on his own. Mm. Okay? Because he was not created to look at himself. Wow. Okay? Adam was not created to be around mirrors. Mm. Okay? Adam was not created to for for self reflection. Mm -hmm. Okay? He was created to know what God said. Okay, and he was created to be focused on his woman. Mm. Mm. Okay, so not on himself. Mm -hmm. And by the way, that's where we get into all of our relational problems with God and others mm -hmm. is, is, is with our self-preoccupation. Mm -hmm. That's what causes all of our relational problems. Mm -hmm. It's because we are coming into every relationship leading with self, mm -hmm. okay, leading with self, and as opposed to being totally unaware of self, mm -hmm. you see, and and that presents huge challenges because uh, the other person is doing the same thing, mm -hmm. okay. So everybody's leading with self, mm -hmm. okay, and everybody is upset with the other because they're leading with self, mm -hmm. you see. And, and we're judging <laughs> you because you're leading with self, mm -hmm. okay? And so that's not allowing me to lead with myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cause you, mm -hmm. How dare you be selfish when I'm trying to be, be selfish. selfish? Yeah, and, and, um, wow. and, and we're, we're judging ourselves according to our intentions. Mm -hmm. We're judging others based on their behavior. Mm -hmm. You see, we're, we're, we're light on ourselves, mm -hmm. we're heavy on the other person, wow. you see, and, and so, uh, and that's, you know, br it, brings, it brings hardship mm -hmm. um, relationally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Genesis three twelve. the man said, the woman you put here with me, she gave me some fruit from the tree and I ate it. Mm -hmm. And and so he says, who told you you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree that I commanded you not to eat? Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. And then he says, he goes, instead of saying yes, uh -huh. that was the answer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was the answer. Uh -huh. That was a yes or no question. Uh -huh. Okay. That was a yes or no question. But he had a phrase. Instead of a, a one word, he had a phrase. Mm -hmm. He says, he tried to throw it back to God. Hmm. Okay, the woman you gave me. Hmm. I didn't do nothing like this before this woman. Before you gave me this woman, hmm. the woman you gave me. So you are partially responsible for this, God. Wow. You see, because you gave me this woman. Okay, she gave it to me, and I eat. I always eat what's in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, like he didn't know that that was, but he knew full well what he was doing. Mm -hmm. And um, he says, the woman you gave gave to be with me, she gave me of the tree. She's supposed to be a help for me, so I just ate what she gave me. Okay, and the woman, and the Lord said to the woman. And by the way, notice the Lord; he didn't he didn't say anything about it. He just skipped over that. Hmm. Excuse and all that. He hmm. wasn't. He wasn't interested in, in, in digging down to the minutia. He'll get to all the punishments and all that later. Hmm. But he says, and the Lord God said to the woman, "What is this you have done?" Mm -hmm. Okay. And the woman says, she puts it up on the serpent. The serpent deceived me, mm. and I ate. Mm. Wow. So then he goes to the serpent. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. wow.